Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. JJK is fucking great. Holy, okay. I get why people like this show, or the manga, or just in general. It is awesome. Like, it is getting good. So, to get more idea, uh, there's going to be slight spoilers in this episode because I'm going to talk about uh, season two in the most recent episode, which is four, which literally came out today as I'm recording this video. So, goddamn, where do I begin? So, JJK, season one. I was like, okay, cool, like, new shonen, like, new sh shonen jump series, like, great characters, like, cool abilities, and you're just like, cool, this is great, but, like, it's so textbook, textbook, like, ideas within, like, the characters and some, like, the powers, and, like, just, like, how, how, like, the world is built, but, like, we, but, like, you don't really understand that this story is a lot more complex until like season two started rolling around in my opinion because like i didn't i don't know if they explained this in season one like they probably did i just don't remember because i haven't seen season one since whenever it came out but like there is realism to this it's just great it's just so like this is a society where like it is broken apart by people who can use like cursed energy and those who can't you know different implications and how the law applies to those people and then just like see how it affects like people around them and like they them th themselves and it's just all like fuck okay so like we got we got some fucking shit going down and it's awesome people fucking died yeah so <laughs> episode three was fucking fire of season two like okay well i mean like you could tell from the beginning of the episode that something was gonna go wrong like a lot of red flags were just popping up because you get this beautiful cinematic scene with beautiful piano music playing and then you're just like yup she's gonna fucking die and um lo and behold yeah <laughs> but Fuck, like, let me just say this. I love Toji. Toji is fucking awesome. He is, like, a menace. And I love menace characters. Like, my favorite, like, my favorite villain is Dio from JoJo. Because he is just a fucking menace. Like, everything he does, he just does it because he fucking can. You know? And that is exactly who Toji is. And then lo and behold, they have the same fucking voice actor. So it's just like, oh, this is perfect. Because Toji is like a very laid back person and just like lazy as fuck. And just like does the job when he needs to do the job. Like he doesn't, like if he could kill somebody without being flashy, he'll do it. Like exactly, like just fucking shoot a person instead of do some old oh, crazy like cursed ability or whatever. You know, like show off. Like no, he just like bang. And just like, okay, like, job done, bye-bye. And then, like, he even fucks up Gojo, which was awesome. And, like, I know I'm supposed to be rooting for, like, Gojo and, like, the good guys. But, like, in my opinion, I was just like, fuck, Toji's too cool to hate on him. Plus, like, we know, like, it's a flashback, so, like, Gojo's still alive and shit like that. But it's just like, ah, fuck. Why did he have to die? Fuck! He died! Yup, in episode 4, he fucking dies! Because, uh, Gojo, of course, is alive, right? And then, because Toji fucked him up so hard, that he learned how to use, like, reverse cursed energy and shit. And so then Gojo was, like, super OP as shit, and was just, like, literally enlightened. And he's just like, oh, I'm gonna kill you now. So then Toji's like, oh, fuck this kid, he thinks he's better than me? And then, lo and behold, he got fucking donated. And then, just like, damn it! There was one episode where I could fucking love this guy! Like, I- okay. God, fuck. I don't know if this is wrong to say, but, like, I don't care that, like, he killed people. He's just too cool for- like, like, he's just that guy. He's just that guy. So, it's just like, to me, I'm like, yeah, it's acceptable. <laughs> Like, if it was, like, a other bad guy, and just, like, some psycho, or just, like, some, like, weird dude, 
that killed them, then I'll be like, oh no, yeah, I'm so glad he died. But the fact that he is just so cool, such a fucking menace, and then Gojo just does fucking Murasaki, and he's just like, Bleh. and I'm like, ah, oh, damn it, why did he have to die? But then now we're seeing a lot of changes in Geto's character, which I'm very looking forward to. Like, there's clearly, like, him fighting against his, like, ideologies. And this is, like, very interesting to see that something is now starting to change within his character. And I'm just like, wow. Like, goddamn, this is some good character writing right here. Like, shout out to the author. Holy shit. And yeah, I've managed to avoid like all spoilers up to this point and i still am okay fuck you like no nothing's gonna be spoiled okay and if something is i w i might actually cry and i'll just be like fuck now i don't want to watch this show so with that being said thanks for watching everyone it's been yuji